What is up, guys? K Dog's Kennel coming back at you guys. Uh, in the last part, we went through uh, the Kilika Village and the Kilika Woods, and now we're about to have a like, boss fight. Everyone, quick, sim spawn. Kind of unusual we start a video with a boss fight, but. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, some sin spawn. Um, we have some tentacles that uh, that's going to be our primary focus first. Um, sin spawn Janux, as you see, it has three thousand hit points. The tentacle, um, excuse me, uh, they have four fifty a piece, um, and you want to take them out because they will absorb magic. Uh, if you try to cast magic on the main enemy, uh, they will absorb it. So. Take these guys out. I want everyone to have a say in it, if you will. So that way everybody gains the experience from this fight. There goes one tentacle. Sigh, what the hell? So my phone never goes off. It's like my phone keeps going off today, and I don't fucking know why. But it's rather annoying. So... <laughs> Facebook and shit like that. Very, very nice. Actually, I'm using water on it. No. Can you go to the other... Why does it keep going to my own party? Okay. I have no idea why it won't turn to the tentacle, but okay. Oh shit, maybe because the tentacle's dead, that's why. That would be a pretty good My ball can't hurt it either. How about magic? Lulu, you're up. Let's do a thunder. Because uh water healed it, but there we go. It's hard as rock. My sword's no good. All right, let's use a potion on Lulu. Lulu does not have much HP at the start of the game, but let's keep casting magic on it. It'll eventually break open, and then, well, as it's going to right now, as a matter of fact. And now, uh, your other characters can do damage to it, so there we go. Venom, big old ball of poison. Let's do, uh, Fire Fury, basically. This is, we're gonna turn the, uh, right analog stick. As many times as we can in the time allotted. Very nice. Seven. Very nice. Very, very nice. Nope. Damn it. I was hoping we'd get, like, an overkill. But not yet. Water. Oh shit, probably shouldn't have done that. I literally just thought of that because I forgot Tidus was poisoned. That was my own stupidity there. Staccato, this is annoying. Damn, just basically slapped everybody. And we got it, that's all right. Good freaking deal. Sorry about that. Hope to break you in a little slower. 
being a guardian's tiring. You handle yourself pretty well. You got talent. Nah. So, what are these sin spawn anyway? Fiends. They fall from Sin's body and are left behind in its wake. Leave him alone and Sin comes back for him. You gotta be quick. That moment when Waka told me I had talent in battle. I think that was when I started seriously considering becoming a guardian. There we go. Everybody gets some of the pie, if you will. Now we're going to make our way up into Kilika Temple for the Cloistra Trials. <laughs> Got fiends in Xanarkand too. Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up, though. Uh, hey, since one of you believe me about Xanarkand anyway. I've been thinking. Maybe people Sin gets to don't die. Maybe Sin carries them through time, like a thousand years through time. And then one day, maybe they just pop back, see? Amazing. Simply amazing. Hmm? You make up one theory after another, refusing to face the simple truth. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just pop back. Oh, and one more thing. No matter how much you want it, no one can take Chapu's place. No one can replace Sir Jack, for that matter. And there's no replacement for Lord Braska, either. It's pointless to think about it. And sad. I... I could never be what Chapu was. Well, stuff happens. Best not to worry. Waka, Lulu, and Waka's brother, Chapu. Something had happened between them a long time ago. I was sure of it. Well, whatever it was, it was none of my business, that's for sure. Best not to go there. Hmm. The Luca Goers. You here to pray for victory too? Us pray? Who needs to pray? The Luca Goers always win. Oh yeah? Then why are you here? We've been praying for some competition this year. So what's your goal this time? You gonna do your best again? Ha! It's too bad your best isn't good enough. Why even bother showing up? This time, we play to win. Hmm. Ooh, play away. Just remember, even kids can play, boys. See you in the finals. We'll beat them. We have to. You know that, team? Putting people down. They're as bad as my old man. But Sir Jekt was a kind and gentle man. Well, not my Jekt. Uh... Even ten years after he left, just thinking about my old man got me angry. <laughs> but maybe that was just my way of keeping him... Nah. nah. Yeah, the spoil spoiler alert, We uh, when we get to Luca, uh, there's a Blitzball game that plays out um, against the Albert Sykes, and then we have to actually fight, or we actually play the Goers, uh, which is going to be the only Blitzball game that um, I'll put on here, and it's because it's story-related, I have to actually go through that, but, so if you guys don't like Blitzball, maybe, you know, that part won't be for you, but, here we are in Kilika Temple.
Looks like we did it in Besaid. I'll, I'll go along here with Waka. My name is Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. Donna? So, you're High Summoner Braska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these people are your guardians? <laughs> my, what a rabble. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. <laughs> Whatever were you thinking? I have need of only one guardian. Right, Bartello? We'll see a lot of these two as I well. I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. I trust them all with my life. To have so many guardians is a joy and an honor. Even more so than being my father's daughter. Of course, I would never think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. You do what you want, Bartella, we're leaving. <sighs> A guardian is someone a summoner can rely on. Someone she can trust with her life. I wondered, did Yuna feel that way about me? What's she smiling about? All right, so now let's go up in to the Cloister Trials. The faith is below me. Let's do it. The faith? But first, the Cloister of Trials. Kamari, Waka, ready? Strength, everyone. No! Da! Ah. Hey, what gives? You're not a guardian yet. Um, we'll be back as soon as we can, okay? Oh, sure. Soon. Like, tomorrow soon, I bet. <laughs> yeah, basically the way, like, the, even though it, in the game it doesn't really show... You alright, baby? Come here. Aww. Yeah, you can curl up on me all you want, Bubba Bear. But yeah, it's like... The summoner prays... Where's until... You? She's granted the Aeon, but... Then why are you here? Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? Hmm... Not a guardian, you say? Hey, wait! Let me go! Go! Hey! What's a big idea? Just a little game. Huh? This is bad. Really bad. Alright. So now we're gonna go up here. Go inside or we here? Well, duh, I'll go inside. Only guardians allowed. I'm sure no guardian. Well, I guess it's too late now. Alright, so this is gonna be our next puzzle, if you will. Let's see if I remember how to do this one. Kilika Sphere. Set it in this recess, which is actually going to cause the door to basically burn. Like so. And then you have to take the sphere again to put it out so you can actually walk through it. Like so. <laughs> kind of cool. 
All right, so actually I need to set this aside because I need to set that glyph sphere in there. So let's put you here for the moment. Later in uh, later areas will be uh, pedestals you can put multiple spheres in, but... Oh shit, I could have put it the Kilika sphere over there, but... So let's put that in here, make a glyph show up. Or not. Put that glyph sphere over here. And you'll get the Kilika sphere. Let's see if the Kilika sphere goes in here. A glyph appears. Okay, now we put the glyph sphere over there. Okay. I'm gonna talk to myself a lot on the in these cloisters, so don't mind me. <laughs> the glyph repels you. What? Touch the glyph. There we go. I, I knew I'd eventually get it opened up. All right, so here we have a wall of fire. Um, obviously, we got to put that out. Which we take this out. That will do just that, or not. Okay, which is fine. We got to come out here. Gonna put this over here. Okay, I'm going to take the glyph sphere from here. And put that in where there we go now we're getting somewhere so that takes that down this should be the destruction sphere it is Okay, we need to actually bring the pedestal in here. I said, there's a lot to this stuff, guys. But none of the cloister... Well, Bavel is kind of a pain in the ass. Bavel is the, um, the fifth one, I think, that we have to go to. All about, like... Riding some giant machine. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this uh, Kilika sphere. I'm going to put it in the uh, recess uh, the, on the other side, which is the exit. Put that in there. But as a, we have to get the destruction uh, sphere treasure. I don't know if you have to have something in this in the pet. Ah, God damn it, dude! Will you push the fucking thing? Stop walking around it. Oh my God! Why will you not put? Maybe I have to have a sphere there. No, I don't. Oh my god, why am I having such a difficulty with this? Yeah, you have to have something there. Let me grab... I don't know if this will work, but we'll try it. To make it go down. There we go, okay. Take the sphere out.
now with the destruction sphere. I think I can put it down there. And there we go. Bam! There's the prize, if you will. Obtain the red armlet, which is uh, something for Kamari. That in hand, now we can take this, and we can get out of here with our new Aeon. So there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It was Donna and that big muscle-head man. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. All right, now, I think if you approach, Kamari pushes you. <gasps> yeah, so I think you gotta try to leave, and that's when the... Or not. Maybe talk to Lulu? There we go. The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo. Oh. Just wait. So what's in there anyway? The faith, remember? Oh yeah, that thing, right. The faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now, they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? So, so what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat sin. Now, there we go. There was something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there, in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why, suddenly, I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. Alright, so now we have a new Aeon Ifrit. Outstanding. Where are we at on time? We're at about uh, 24 minutes. All right. I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. Are... are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> ah! <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, so now we gotta make our way back out of uh, Kilika, which is not a big deal. Oh shit. 
Actually, I probably should have saved. <laughs> They're at least uh, garnered some. Uh... Oh, here we go, though. Oh, nice. T just learned the ability haste, which uh, speeds up the uh, speeds up one character. So that's kind of cool. Strength by one. Accuracy by one. So there we go. Nice. Walk out, see what we can do to you, or do for you, rather. Nice. Strength by two. Accuracy by two. Very nice. Lulu, I, I, I can't recommend this enough to keep Lulu in your party at all times, because Lulu, as far as character-wise, is probably one of my favorite characters uh, in the game. Just because uh, she's, you can, she can, be, can become a very powerful mage. There we go. Yuna's uh, MP increasing by twenty. So there we go. Very nice. I see how well our. Not enough, apparently. Come on, let me get to the save sphere at least. Yeah, I knew that was probably not going to happen. Oh, you bastard. Nice overkill, very nice. Get to the safe sphere. Perfect. Excellent. So replenish everything. I know you can buy stuff. I mean, I don't really know of anything that I need. Oh shit, I don't want to do that. I, I, maybe you can, I don't remember. You're the one who saved my sister, right? That treasure box contained a token. Oh, nice. And we get an ether, which replenishes uh, hit points. It's okay, yeah. You don't get anything. I thought you. I thought maybe you could buy stuff now, but apparently not. So we're off to Luca as soon as I finish this off. Which actually, I think we're going to be going to Luca. All right. So there we go, guys. We're going to uh, cut this part, and in the next part. We're going to head to Luca White. Hold on, not yet. Why is there a chest over I Oh, okay. I was like, I just see a treasure chest. Hold on a second. Oh, very nice. Okay, so you can actually buy some stuff. Let's uh, equip the Hunter Sword, which I don't know why I just did that. Never mind. I should not have done that. Mother Trucker. So the chest is basically her... I don't know why I just equipped the... I want the Brotherhood because it has Strength plus 5, so... But anyway, guys, we're going to cut this part off, and then um, we're going to head off to Luca in the next part. So please make sure to tune in for that, and I will catch you guys in the very next part. Hang tight.